Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, all appropriate ages, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, with may be, hope you're staying safe and healthy. So, last night, got home from work, and hot fix number five uh, was inbound in one minute as soon as I logged into the game, so I thought, ah, I'll wait, I'll turn it back off, then turn it back on. So, afterwards, came back, and I'm actually going to go through all the hot fix notes, just to increase video time, but I've also got kind of a new oh, do I call it a bug that I experienced this morning but we'll get into that in a second so let's go through the patch notes uh, we're back with our second hot fix of the week as the team progresses through reports additionally we're working towards addressing some bigger feedback areas with our week's worth of findings more info to share soon so the Zaramon quest changes and fixes adjusted void cascade oh so these are all like the actual quest fixes here adjusted cascade mission objectives to start when players kill the first Thrax occupying the exalizer added objective kill marker tutorial text pop-up and transmissions to better explain mission objectives in void cascade specifically kill the Thrax if you didn't know you had to kill the enemies then something's wrong with you the tutorial message about depositing Vitoplast will now appear much sooner after the first Void Rupture becomes active in a Void Flood mission. The following... Wait. Who doesn't know they have to deposit Vitoplast? <sighs> it's like we're being babied here, from the sounds of it. The following Void Cascade conditions are now the only ones that will occur in Quest Mission. Shield Drain, enemies have added Heat Damage and Boarding Squad. Not too bad. Improved mission flow with a Void Cascade mission. Reduced enemy counts for the first two Void Ruptures in Void Flood. It will now ramp up slowly over time and the X-Mish units will only spawn after the first Void Rupture has been closed. Fixed mission missing transmissions for when an Exalizer spawns in Void Cascade mission. Fixed objective marker in Void Flood mission appearing during int intro transmission. It will now appear after the key transmission has finished playing. Fix being able to bypass pop-up messages introduced in Hotfix 4 by starting the Angels of Zaraman quest from navigation. Now Zaraman mission changes and fixes. Void Flood fixes. The optional extraction marker now displays for less time at each rotation. Uh, playing this morning for almost an hour now and yeah, I've done a couple of Void Floods and a couple of Void Cascades and there has been no optional extraction marker at all. Fixed return to the Chrysalis message lingering on screen indefinitely after the mission ends. Yeah, they have fixed that. Fixed objective A not appearing until the intro transmissions have finished. Hang on, let me read that again. Objective A not appearing until... Yeah, that, they fix that. This also fixes the objective popping in at an empty location with a marker and causing an awkward pause in gameplay. I never experienced that one. <coughs> Fixed extraction transmission playing after the next round's A marker appears in Void Flood missions. Uh, that is all dependent on timing because that can still happen actually. This should help some confusion on the extraction availability before the next round begins on longer endless runs. Fixed Void Flood missions during UI pop-ups to indicate a reward has been given. And now the Void Cascade fixes. Fixed Exalizer progression marker lingering with full bar after it appears and disappears in Void Cascade missions. Fixes towards enemies not spawning properly if you host Migrate before fully connecting or loading into Zara missions from the Chrysalis and all other open landscapes. We'll see if that's true, because after the last four hot fixes I was still getting no enemies in sight, or even settle on Melika at one point. <coughs> Fixed Thrax enemies being able to activate any interactables in Zara missions which would disable them for players. That's a new one I've heard of. Fixed Script Error with Void Manifestation, Ground Spike Ability, Fixed Towards Script Errors related to Thrax enemy spawns. Fixed the Script Error with the Inactive Void Manifestation spawns. Fixed the Script Error in Void Armageddon missions. 
Now, in terms of Cascade, I came across this little gem earlier. This is Grenier. This is... This is unwinnable. That Exolizer is working for us now. We're down an Exolizer. Working on backups. That... Oh, dear, Wafrep. This... Purge it and make it work for us. ...is broken. For the record, it is... Wednesday the 4th of May, and it is... Half past seven in the morning. What the living fuck. Now, when I started playing this morning, it was Corpus based. And when I went into that mission, it was still Corpus enemies. Yet when I entered that mission, the cycle had changed to Grenier, but it hadn't updated the objectives to say Grenier. So it wanted us to kill 100 Corpus when it had just switched to Grenier while I was in the elevator. Therefore, making the game unwinnable. Would you call that a bug? I would. So, DE, that needs addressing. Because if that can happen at, to any given mission at any given moment, then it's just going to fuck a lot of people over. Uh, fix the script terror with the inactive void manifestation spawns. Fix the script error in void Armageddon missions. Added a daily refresh indicator to syndicate screens anywhere where there is an X remaining indicator. So say you've got X amount of standing you can still make with that faction in a day. There's going to be a timer to say how many hours you've got until it refreshes. Added a none icon to all of the none options in the operator UI list in the orbiter. Entry Syndicate rank up dialog has been reassigned to the speech volume slider in the audio options. This also fixes dialog being muted if players <coughs> had the transmission slider turned down. I need to clear my throat and have some water hang on. <coughs> <coughs> I'm having water before my coffee. This is outrageous. So, other general fixes. Fixes towards being unable to matchmake with other players in any open landscape missions, bounties included. Fix being unable to individually extract from endless missions. Fix players being unable to change their highlighted ability while sprinting as operator while using controller. Fixed synth charges effects applied to the Latums in Khan and transmutation by 200% for a full duration if you transmute it with only one bullet left in the magazine. Fixed energy leech eczemus hazard FX and sound not working properly for clients. Fixed dying before cinematic in final stages of new war quest causing you to be unable to proceed. This also fixes being able to receive damage if you happen to be playing as operator when that cinematic starts, which would ultimately break the cinematic. Fix holding Garuda's Dread Mirror to charge the damage of her Blood Ball, consuming energy, but not increasing damage. Fix Gaia's Rotor Swell Lightning Strike cooldown being permanently decreased in certain cases with the electric arcs chained to other enemies. This potentially also fixes Cathode Grace randomly disabling itself. Please let us know this issue continues post hot fix. <coughs> fix range advantages buff only apply when enemies are within 15 meters instead of 10 and only increases damage by 250% instead of 300 at max rank as intended. Fix Sevagor Shadow Skin and Helmet stating in its description that it is a cosmetic for an item which you do not own when you do in fact own it. Fix the credits looted HUD tracker not updating while playing as operating or Valis's assassinate bounties. 
It used to only add the credits collected once you transferred back to your Warframe, but it will now take into account the credits picked up as operator. Fix the Derivator crewman's backpack not vanishing on death. Fix Atlas's path of statues augment trail FX not being visible. Fix lingering mentions of Void Dash to new Void Sling. Fix crash related to thrill spawning into a mission. Fixed audio ducking while aiming with efficient spear if you melee in between aiming. Fixed script error with assassinate bounties and Orvalis. Fixed script error related to the Gas City Tail Set Lab puzzles. Fixed script error related to the Kavat Tech Mod Set bonus effects. So a lot of fixes, half of them for Zaraman, which still has a way to go. <coughs> And I'm recording this at 8.45 now, and I've been playing since 7 o'clock. And that new little bug was at half past 7. So, I've finally got Guy your optics, so I just need to get to systems, which I think currently are in Void Armageddon. And I've seen people ask, where do you get uh, weapon parts for the airlock and the Hess bar? They drop on Rotation C in Cascade and I think Flood and Armageddon. I think it drops on Rotation C of all of them, but after only like rounds three and four. And if you're playing in a public squad, uh, I would recommend going into Recruit Chat and trying to get a squad that's willing to go that far because most people are just only willing to do at the moment the bounties to get all the guy parts or resources to rank up their standing with this family so either go solo on just regular flood and cascade missions and armageddon missions or go with a squad that's willing to do up to round four because here on playstation they are few and far between so if anyone was wondering how you get those parts now you know. But still early in the morning, I'm gonna play a bit more before I go to work. Any more bugs, I will actually not be lazy this time, like I have in the previous videos talking about bugs, and show proof of them. Hopefully a lot more's been fixed compared to the past few days since this has launched, but time will tell. And with that being said, I shall see you all later. The more Argazine you have, the more armaments you can construct. Nope. Oh. oh, what's going on with the doors? Doors are gonna become a problem. 